I made $3,000 in just five days from decentralized finance and using liquidity pools on Uniswap V3. I'm gonna explain exactly how I did that and exactly how you can do it for yourself. Let's hop into it. So by now, if you're subscribed to the channel, you probably know exactly what a Uniswap V3 liquidity pool is and what concentrated liquidity pools are. But for those that don't know, I'll quickly recap. Essentially, there are decentralized exchanges, the largest one being Uniswap V3, where one trader can swap an asset for another asset. So for example, I can go and swap Ethereum for USDC. It will automatically get me the best possible rate and it will automatically trade through a liquidity pool system. It's not an order book. There's a pool that accepts any trade that is given essentially. Now the thing is anybody can put money into this liquidity pool and act as a counterparty to trades where essentially they just take the other assets. So if I'm providing liquidity for Ethereum to USDC, somebody puts, let's just say hundred Ethereum into the liquidity pool, takes out 195,000 USDC, the liquidity pool now has a hundred more Ethereum and 195 K less USDC. But the thing is you'll notice that we're putting in $196,000, getting out roughly $195,000. Essentially the trader is paying a small fee. In this case scenario, it's roughly 0.05%. And ultimately that fee is going to the people that are providing liquidity on Uniswap V3. So I personally provide liquidity for assets that I'm bullish on. For example, I'm super bullish on Matic. I'm also super bullish on Ethereum. So I provide liquidity for a pair called Matic to Ethereum. And this same pair made me $3,000 in the time span of just five days, which is absolutely nuts. But the thing is, whenever Matic and Ethereum rise, well, my assets appreciate as well. Whenever they decline, my assets also depreciate. But the thing I'm getting that people that aren't providing liquidity aren't getting is the fees that traders are paying for being deposited into a liquidity pool. As you can see, this $19,800 position has about $480 in unclaimed fees. I can go claim these fees right now, put them in my wallet, and then go do whatever I please to do with them. Or I can go compound them back into my position and build back up my position. But when we're concentrating our liquidity, we're leveraging up, allowing our capital to be used more efficiently than if we were to just provide liquidity on every single price point. But the thing is, there's no liquidations, there's no borrowing or anything along those lines. You're just simply using a range where your liquidity is being used. The broader your range, the lower the return you're going to get. The tighter your range, the higher the return you're going to get. Now, looking at this position, you can see that it lasted roughly five days. And with that being said, I provided $20,584 worth of capital into this concentrated liquidity pool of Matic to Ethereum. And then when I withdrew my capital, I had roughly $22,789. So that means alone from Matic, as was Ethereum appreciating in value, I made roughly $2,205. And with that being said, I also made $550 in position income or the fees that I collected throughout these five days, which means I made over $100 per day just from fees by providing liquidity for two assets that I was planning on holding my wallet either way, which is absurd. That equates to a $230% APY. However, I will give a full disclaimer. The APY for this pool has gone down. And as you can see, when I first entered, the APY for this pool was roughly 390%. And then it declined to 260% and then 190% before going back up to 255% and then back down to 230%. So when we look at this, there are some days where I collected a really good amount of fees and other days where I barely collected any fees, but still had an amazing return. On my lowest day, I was making $43. If we divide that by the capital that I deployed, that is basically 0.2%. And if we multiply that by 365 days, that's still 76% annualized by just providing liquidity for two assets that I was holding in my wallet either way. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I found this pool and how you can find pools like this one for yourself. But before I go any further, I want to mention that we have a $35 mini course that teaches you the four key fundamentals of Uniswap V3 concentrated liquidity pools. It teaches you number one, the basis of Uniswap V3, how it functions and what it is. Number two, how to discover high performing Uniswap V3 liquidity positions before they actually perform. Number three, how to select the ranges for your concentrated liquidity pools to maximize profits and minimize impermanent loss. And number four, when to rebalance your positions for the most effective return on your capital and to minimize impermanent loss as a whole. Mitchell is now making roughly $500 per day from his Uniswap V3 positions and Ryan as well as Angela have done very well for themselves as well. The link for that mini course is down below in the description. It's only $35 for a limited time and we've already had over 100 people purchase this course. It's meant to be a resource so you can try out Uniswap V3, see if it's something for you and if it's not something for you, well, you didn't have a huge sunk cost right out the gate. And if concentrated liquidity is something you wanna dive deeper into, we have opportunities available that you can take action on like Mitchell did. And now he's making $500 per day, but I use a tool called builder metrics. And I want to give a full disclaimer. This is our personal tool, but ultimately it is 100% free for you to use. And it's a very valuable resource, but essentially from here, I can look at the pools section and I can select the network that I want to look at pools on. I would recommend
recommend if you have over ten thousand dollars of capital to look at the ethereum network pools because they tend to have a higher return my baseline is to sort by the 24 hour fees divided by tvl essentially this is going to show pools that have a very good fee to tvl ratio and obviously there's going to be very high risk assets like rock to ethereum generating thirty eight thousand dollars in fees on average over the past seven days and with that being said the tvl is only two million dollars so there is a lot of money to be made in that pool but going a little bit further you can look at the other pages and here is where you're going to start to find some more blue chip assets for example the solana to ethereum pool has a fee to tvl ratio of 0.4 percent i might just go ahead and hit calculate on this and open it in a new tab so that way i can play around with it if you're bullish on something like inj you could go ahead and hit calculate on inj and determine potential returns from there or ilv to ethereum determine potential returns from there and you can continue to go down this list and just find assets that you're bullish on and you can also go ahead and favorite these assets put them up in your favorites bar and then go and look at other networks so that way you can determine which assets are going to perform best on which networks additionally you can head over to a platform like coin gecko find assets that you're truly bullish on let's just say one of them is link and then head over to info.uniswap.org and then from here you could go ahead and search link and as you can see chain link pulls up we have stuff like link to ethereum we have stuff like link to sdl we have stuff like rng to link we have link to usdc and so on and so forth down the list i'm personally going to sort this by volume because i want to see what has the most volume obviously pairing link with ethereum has the most volume link to usdc also has a decent amount of volume so what i might do is head back over to builder metrics go to calculate and then just simply put ethereum and also put link and this is going to display to me the ethereum to link pool now once i'm on here i can go and play with the min price and the max price i might use a range of something like let's just say 165 and then a min price of something like 100 and ultimately this is going to give me exposure for link to outperform ethereum and this is estimating that i get an 80 percent apr on link to ethereum you also might want to look at volume history and see if there's any consistency here as you can see there's relatively consistent volume but it looks like it's been going down recently so what we might do is head back over to coin gecko and just kind of see where the crypto market's at as you can see the crypto market's down 3.5 percent today when we go and we look at the overall market cap over the past seven days it has seen a little bit of a decline when we look at the past past 14 days it's seen some growth so we're just seeing a minor setback in the overall crypto market right now so that could contribute to exactly why the volume has been going down just a little bit we can also go and analyze other people's positions so this person right here is making roughly a 509 percent apr but they've only been in their position for two hours if i sort by the position age i can then go and look at positions that have been open for let's just say 122 days you could see that this is doing a 20 percent return this has a relatively broad range right here so i might go a little bit further find positions that have been open for maybe two months or so and that might give me a good base idea on how I could perform if I'm opening a broad range link to Ethereum position. This one has an upper price of 495 and a lower price of roughly 123. Been open for 64 days and getting roughly 30% APR. That's pretty nice. We do the same exact thing for Sol. I might do a range of something along these lines with my max price being roughly maybe 53 because maybe Sol sees a retracement like it already has been seen. And then my min price being something like maybe 20 and then that's going to get me roughly a 160 percent apr on soul and as you can see the tvl for this pool has been going up up and up that means more liquidity has been entering into this pool so these returns are going to start to get diminished over time however the volume of this pool has been rising as the tvl has been rising which means the return might be similar to if you were to enter let's just say 30 days ago when there was a lower tvl of like let's just say six hundred and thirty thousand dollars. this can also be attributed to soul and ethereum both rising in price so causing the overall value of the tvl to be higher with that being said decentralized finance is changing the financial industry big governments are already starting to crack down on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology because it takes the power out of their hands and if you want to be a part of this financial revolution i recommend you drop a like and subscribe notifications turned on and if you're daring go ahead and check out our uniswap v3 mini course down below in the description i'll see you guys later peace out